ஹலோ ஹலோ right so dr surendra mupraj mupraju will be taking the role play for me he will only read the questions and i will be the candidate i will be the nurse today or i will be the doctor whatever it is both i will participate now i am going to do for uh, nurses then you will i'll do for doctors okay right later hello and welcome to seven sentinels this is grandmaster class and i am peter simon with you today i'm going to give you a sample session of how the role play of a nurse can be excellent and how they can make the warm up session the best to create an impact on the interlocutor okay so and be comfortable and be on fire and ready for the rehearsal suddenly if the role play is given it will be very difficult so in the warm up session you can be friendly and you can just uh, you come back to your full size and get yourself uh, ready and you can take this one as a real session and when you show the excellent quality then definitely in the main rounds it will be wonderful if you are silent in this one like a, you know like a cat and you can you know you have to be like a tiger or a lion in that case okay so bounce and show attack is the name of the game so now we have the speaking session with simon peter i am simon peter i am going to do the speaking session so these are the daily dosage profession specific and speaking materials and nursing profession specific speaking tasks can i start yes you can start oh Okay, Mr. Peter Simon, can you please tell me something about yourself in three to four sentences? That's really wonderful to explain about myself. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself to you, sir, because it gives me immense pleasure. My name is Peter Simon, and I am 52 years old. I am an Indian, and I come from a place called Hyderabad in South India. My mother tongue is Telugu, and I can also speak Hindi, English, and Arabic. I love my country very much because I'm a patriot by nature. Why did you choose nursing as your profession? Oh, that's a really superb question. Superb question because right from my childhood, I have grown up in the environment where I see a number of nurses. The hospital was close by, and some of my family members are also nurses. I have a doctor also, but nursing is my favorite. Uh, profession you know because these nurses used to talk very friendly and uh, my aunt uh, used to uh, take care of the patients and i used to go with her to the hospital i was very much impressed because of their dress you know they look like angels and when they go to the patients patients are very happy so uh, in that environment i got up and then that put everything into my mind and i thought one day my aunt asked me what do you want to become then i told like you i want to become a nurse and i want to be loved by the people and that was the day i decided that and today i am here as a nurse i'm proud to be a nurse what is your fundamental reason for taking the occupational english test frankly speaking i am going i i prefer to work in a foreign country and for that reason taking an english test is mandatory and i have two options take the ielts or take the occupational english test so for me because i am a nurse i belong to the medical professional cad background for me i think taking the oet is of course its cost is a little higher side but still i prefer taking because you know in this test 
only those things related to medical knowledge and medical related subject, the materials will be provided. But if I take IELTS, any material may come, any from astronomy to internet and uh, um, heredity or uh, disease, sickness or any anything, physics or chemistry, anything in that matter can come. But I want to be safe side, secure, because I should, if I get uh, all the information related to my particular subject, that will definitely uh, be an added advantage. So that is the main reason why my preference is occupational English test. Which country is your most favorite destination for migration and work? Mm, in that matter, any English speaking country would be fine. But the most preferred destination, I would, it would be undoubtedly or undeniably the United Kingdom. Because, you know, number of uh, countries, uh, people prefer to go to the United Kingdom. When you say, what is your choice? They may say, um, they will not say some other country, but first preference, they'll say United Kingdom, because it is a, a special, it has a special place uh, um, in the people's hearts, you know, with regard to job satisfaction, personal respect, and freedom in the country to do what they like. So all these things, uh, make the country congenial or, you know, um, friendly to the people, a people-friendly nation. So that is the reason why I like to go to the United Kingdom. And most importantly, being a nurse in the United Kingdom, really, we can gain a lot of experience because it is one of the most advanced nations in the world. And definitely, I will be very proud to work in a famous hospital or a medical uh, center, then it would be really adding too much to my career and it will be another feather in my cap. Comment on the special qualities of the contemporary nurses. Special qualities, what to say? There are a number of qualities. All the good qualities together, the collaborative, cumulative effect of all the qualities is a nurse. Nurse means an embodiment of patience. Once a nurse has to possess patience. And this patience is available when you have kindness, affection, love, concern to your patient. So that is what is it. patience is the final impact of all the good qualities put together into a box. And you can label the box as patience. And that is the fundamental prerequisite of any nurse. Because if there is no patience, you cannot call her as a nurse. Because, you know, by default, nurse demands to be patient enough. So if you're patient, you can serve the patient with pride. You can say that you're an excellent nurse. And when you go back home, you can sleep happily, rest peacefully, keeping your head on the pillow and so dream wonderfully because you have got the job satisfaction. So I believe that the most important quality is patience apart from love, kindness, and a friendly attitude to the pa patients. What is the regular routine of an ideal nurse? Um, it depends upon the time, location, and the person, and the gender. Okay, uh, generally speaking, for example, any nurse commonly thinking, so the regular routine starts from going to the workplace, getting dressed, taking charge from the outgoing nurse, visiting the patients, of course, prayer in the beginning, visiting the patients, discussing with them their concerns. Then when the doctor arrives, leading him towards all the patients and briefing the progress of one and all. So, Afterwards, being seated at the uh, reserved place and then waiting if anybody needs so waiting. A nurse is a person who waits always with great patience. And when somebody, somebody calls, they are ready for at the beck and call of the, each and every patient. So now, uh, once again in the afternoon, 
the routine uh, goes the same manner. And once again in the evening, we go to each and every patient and collect information. And finally, we pass on the duty responsibility to the incoming nurse and we go change our dress and leave. But in between, there are many things which I have to tell you. So first thing is, there are many order duties and even event duties. For example, suddenly there is a requirement, we may be moving to some other place and emergency uh, uh, activities may be there. We may have to clean the people, we may have to uh, clean the wounds and uh, bandage the patient and we may have to assist them, we have to comfort the patients. There are a lot of additional duty uh, activities which we are going to perform and it is a never ending responsibility right from putting the thumb impression as incoming and putting the thumb was outgoing. So all the time, six hours or eight hours or 10 hours or 12 hours, the duty time, it's a never ending patience. As far as your profession is concerned, who is your role model? Um, that's really amazing, an amazing question. Let me think, let me think. Yeah, okay. There are many people, my models, uh, role models, many, many, many. So for example, Florence Nightingale, Mother Teresa, my aunt, and there are many people we know. And to tell you frankly, my absolute role model is Mother Teresa. She is an embodiment of sacrifice, not just service. Any nurse can do service, but she is an embodiment of sacrifice. She sacrificed her personal life. She belongs to the people. She is of the people, for the people, and by the people. People made her mother, Teresa. Yes, she doesn't have anything of her own. Everything what she is, she is for the patients. She's left her hometown, she left her family, she left herself back home. And she came to India, served in the slums of Calcutta for years together, made a number of organizations of brothers of charity, sisters of charity, and homes for the destitutes, lepers and all. One, no, number of things. There are pages that can be written about her and already written about her. No person can be equal to Mother Teresa with regard to nursing. She is the perfect person to be called as a role model. For me, if at all I want to model myself, I, I can never reach her status. Never, even in my wildest dreams, I cannot be even 10% of what she does. But as far as possible, even if 1% I can be like her to serve people, to some extent, I will be feeling very proud to be a nurse. That's the complete session. Thank you, Mr. Surendra Muparaju. Thank you very much for being an interlocutor and conducting the speaking session. This is the way how you have to practice speaking. So, so is that clear, uh, Surendra? Yeah, yes, sir. That is the way how you have to speak. Is that clear? Yeah, yeah. Right, fine. So we are going to join. I'm going on an urgent work. And I'll meet after coming back immediately. We'll start. Okay. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thank you.